y'all. So I'm gonna give y'all a, a tour of the car this morning. This is the 2022 Charger GT. So yeah, it's a V6. Um, when I saw it, I fell in love with it. Didn't matter to me if it was a V6 or a Hemi, you know, yeah. Hemis are cool. They probably, you know, the best. But waiting for Hemis is like six months. And they were giving me a lot for my car trade-in. So <clears throat> before, <clears throat> excuse me, if y'all didn't know, I had a 300. Uh, and I, they were like, you know, you know, come bring it in. I only owe 13 on it. And um, they gave me much more than it was worth. Uh, well, it was, it was worth more than I owed it because I paid for it. And it was under mild. It was a 2018 and it only had... 46,000 miles on it. So, you know, it was way, way, way under, under mileage thanks to COVID um, conditions because I work from home. I'm in IT. So this one would definitely be underdriven as well, too. Uh, I've had it for a little bit under um, uh, a month and I've put 400 miles on it because it only had like eight when I got it. But I put 400 miles on it. That's only because I had to actually go to the office and I've been driving around a little bit, you know, trying to learn the car and stuff like that. And, and um, but other than that, it probably won't hit a thousand miles before, uh, <sighs> before the end of August, probably won't. So anyway, so let's give a package. So it's the uh, 2022, <clears throat> Somebody just drove past with a uh, a Challenger. Um, 2022 Charger GT. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. This My allergies are going crazy. So it's got the hood scoop. Uh, it's got the SRT front. Got the fog lights. We got the, the Dodge badge with the orange. Then we have the orange stripe that goes all the way to the back. Now, I got the windows tinted yesterday, and that's why she's sitting outside, because my car normally sits in the garage, but, you know, she got to sit outside. So, it's 30% in the front full windshield. Uh, everything's blacked out. You have the uh, black rims, and they put the orange Brembo brakes on it. Yeah. That's nice. It's a nice addition. I mean, Brembo's on a V6 is probably more cosmetic, but at least it's got some good, good stopping power. Uh, here's the side view. You got the uh, parking or the road side road assistance on it. These windows are 20%. I just did 20% for the rest. I don't like my, my tent to be too dark, but 20% is cool. Uh, so you can see it's got the parking assistance, you know, where people come, not parking assistance, but uh, driver assistance where people run up on you and it starts blinking and stuff like that. These mirrors, well, you can turn them on and off, you know, and when you back up, they look down, stuff like that. I turned that off because I don't really like it. So as you can see, the stripe goes on there. You got the little satellite radio thing, which I don't care about satellite radio. Back window is 20%. And you got the stripe there with the fan. Blacked out logo, no chrome. I'm glad it's not chrome because if it was, I would have took it off. All of it. It wouldn't have said Charger, Dodge, GT. It wouldn't have said none of that. I would have took it all off because I hate chrome. I really hate chrome. I hate chrome. I hate this this license plate cover. I got a chrome cowboy license plate cover, but that's something because I haven't found a black one. If I find a black one, I'll get rid of the one I got. Uh, it's got the plastic down at the bottom. I'm going to take that off and put the diffuser. You got the two muffler tips looking real nice. Oh, one thing I overlooked is it's got the um, the SRT or the wide body um, back fin hold there. So I'm new to Charger. Never had one. I always wanted one when I was since like 2009, but then I wanted a 300 more. So I got a 300 and... I had my 300 for four years. So that's pretty much it. This side is just all black, you know, just like that. So let me pop the hood or the trunk real quick to show you, cause this has the, it has the performance suspension and all that jazz on it. But this also has the Pioneer 
package. So it's got the 10 inch sub in the back seat or the stupid chrome. Um, it's got the uh, Alpine 10 inch in the back. It's you know, screwed in there. Then you got, I bought this here from Amazon for like 19 bucks. It's a pretty deep trunk. Under there is a full spare. The battery is right here. Just like my 300, like, you know, this trunk looks exactly like my 300, except for I didn't have the Al Alpine in it. You know, they're pretty much the Charger and the 300 are pretty much the same car when it comes to appearance inside. Uh, but the Charger does take its own, uh, the Charger and the, and the um, 300 do have their own appearance. Uh, but, you know, they feel the same uh, in some ways. If you're a Mopar owner, you'll know what I mean. Um, so like these seats and everything. So I got the Alcatara seats, the leather on the sides, and they got the the nice feel right there. So you got that, and you got the orange stitching that goes all the way around. This trash day, so you're gonna have the trash man. The heated seats in the back. You see in there, see it's pretty, you can see pretty good on through there. Heated seats in the back. people you got this stitching on the doors speaker you know cup holder same thing you know so if, if you're a Mopar owner you you know what all this looks like um so let's open up the passenger real quick and let's take a look so doors let's hold it up I'm on this heel big speaker right there and don't mind my floors I got a vacuum them I haven't washed my car yet because I got the windows tinted and, and I had just washed it last weekend. So yeah, same seats. These are automatic on this side with the lumbar support. And y'all already know what it is, Mavericks. It's got the Dodge badge on the seat. Uh, leather on the side with the stitching, Alcatara. Then you see here, leather on the, da I mean, you know, stitching on the dash, charger symbol, uh, mirror, there with the garage door opener uh, pieces and we're going to go on the driver's side shifter has the everything so one of my first upgrades is to get rid of this grill and i'm not going to get the grill because I, i'm trying to stunt and make everybody think i got a sky pack i don't really care about that um i don't care about scat pack and all that other stuff like when i get the car then i probably will care and i'll be like oh v6 is a trash but i never trash the car that somebody has if you like your car you like your car and i like my car so i'm just doing this because i know i've seen this video on the scat pack version because this this comes in this package comes on the gt models uh it's called the hemi orange package it comes on the gt models and it comes on the scat pack wide body models of the charger and the challenger and i think it comes in the durango too but yeah so they put it in you know everybody's like oh well, why would you put a hemi orange package on the gt why would you put brembo brakes on the gt clearly it's for cosmetics and you know to make you know my brakes when i had my 300 I had my 300 for four years and I never had to change the brakes. So I know that there was quality, you know, factory Mopar brakes. So I know that these Brembo's, you know, unless I drive it hard and go racing and stuff like that, uh, they're gonna last too. So can't roll the windows down. You see the Alpine badge. You got your memory one and two uh, for your seats. This seat that I'm sitting in and the driver's side is automatic uh you know with the lumbar support you got of course your regular dash i mean your regular setup on the doors all mopar arnos knows owners know what that look like that's been like that for years even when i had my 09 journey back in the day same door uh you know same setup there uh like i was saying with mopar owners you know that the 300 has this as well too with the vent and over here with the circle you know same same thing so what changes here is the steering wheel with the paddle shifters and you got the orange stitching here so and then you have the orange stitching that goes all the way across here which is very nice 
very nice uh push start and then you know of course it's got um it's got um auto start you know or from the remote now let's look at the pedals it comes with those pedals and then you have the mats with the stripes you know I mean with the stitching too taking those out because i have weather mats for my 300 of course these are going to fit in here you have the the plastic here that says dodge brothers designed in detroit and then underneath here just like in my 300 you pop this if you lose you know like say your battery dies whatever you pop this out i'm pretty sure i don't have no nails I know how to get out of here. I just can't get out here now. If I had a little screwdriver, you pop this out and there's a little metal bracket here with a red string. You pull up on that and it puts your car in neutral if you lost power. I have had to do that before because my 300 battery did die. And I had to have my little sister climb in through. I had to use the key from the key fob and I had to have my little sister climb in through the back seat like these because they open up and she had to pop the truck from the the uh the little pull lever inside the trunk and then i was able to take the battery out and once i got the battery out i uh had my mom take me to costco you know got a core replacement you know um rebate and all that other jazz and then came and installed the battery and we were good to go and i never had an issue since then but three years yeah it was on about the third year maybe three and a half years and the battery died so yeah so we're sitting here and we're looking, here's the uh, mirror, black top, which I love. I mean, it hide stains more. My 300, it wasn't an S, it was a Touring. I had a lower model. Uh, they didn't have any S's at the time. And, well, they did, but they had them in that destroyer gray, and I hate that color. Not saying that, that, that you know, it's a bad color. I just, I like black cars. I hate white cars. Um, I like... I can do the Merlot or the blue. If they had had it in any other color, I would have been fine, but they didn't. So this video is getting a little bit long. So let me just go ahead and give y'all a, a tour of the engine bay real quick. But you yeah, know, that's pretty much this here. Uh, light cup seats. You know, you got the slide out. This is just like the 300. Hold on, let me move this cord. <laughs> slide out just like the 300. Cover the cups up. Uh, I'm not going to show y'all in there. I got my badge and stuff, and I ain't cleaning that up yet. So, let's see here. Let me give you a view of the, the driver's seat from here. Yeah, pretty nice. I like it. Pretty nice. So, let's give you a, a, a view of the engine bay real quick. And then we will cut this video short. So, of course, like I said, it's the V6. Here's, I mean, the identical engine bay to the to like the 300 V6. I'm telling you, it looks the same, except for you got this charger badge that comes out. Uh, and then these little pop pins here help you take off your bumper if you need to, which I am going to have to take off. Like I was talking about, the next upgrade that I'm going to do is I'm not going to put a cold air in here. I'm going to keep this. I'm probably going to change this tube to a, a, a high performance tube uh, and get rid of this and disconnect it from the throttle body and put one of those uh i think it's rfe um i have to look it up but they have them in different colors put an rfe on here i'm going to keep the same box top but i'm going to take this out and put the hellcat box in which has the opening in the front and you can run the you can run the uh plastic nose to the nostril here so that it can feed in cold air because you're getting cold air from the bottom uh, but then there's another one. There's an addition where you can put the grill on here. And that's the only reason I want that grill. I want that grill so that I can get the nostrils on there. And that is only for performance. Like I can run the Hellcat box, um, with the piece on there and not put the nostrils and it'll still be, you know, pulling in the air, but I want that nostril and that tight seal that it's going to give and uh, give it the cold air. I think that keeping it with the Mopar stock parts will be better. Uh, you got your radiator, I mean your uh, coolant, and your oil dipstick. And then this here is the oil filter. Uh, pretty nice engine. I mean, I've always had a V6, even with my journey. 
I had an SXT with my journey. Uh, it had a 10 inch subwoofer in it. Uh, it had the luxury package, everything. Then I got the Touring 300 because my uh, journey got totaled in the accident on the freeway. We were all chilling. Lady just ran into me, towed her back of the, the 300 up. It wasn't really totaled. It was still drivable, but the damages cost more than what the car was worth at the time because it was 2018. I had had the 300 for about seven years and did uh, it was time for it to go. But anyways, so yeah, I'm a, my, one of my next videos is going to be me taking the bumper off. I know that you got these pins here uh, to take off. You pull this off, and then there's a bolt here and the bolt over there. And then I think it's like three, two or three bolts here, and then you got to take these plastics off. I should, I, I've seen people do it without taking the wheel off. I'm not taking my wheel off either. I'm just going to pull these grommets out. Which one of these grommets look like it's already open. What's that about? Hmm, I have to look in that. So anyways, why does that look open? I'll look at that. But yeah, take that off, get in there and pull the bumper off. It doesn't look too bad. The only problem I might see is when I deal with those fog lights, I'm gonna have to have another person here with me uh, and we'll, we'll take it slow. But then I'm gonna pop this, pop this out, put the uh, SRT grill in there. Not sure if I'm gonna paint the, the nostrils orange. I think it might be too much. I think I like the all black with the subtle orange. If I made the nostrils orange, it's gonna look kind of weird to me and it's gonna, it might throw the color off. So I'm gonna probably just leave it black, but we'll see. But yeah, so before we do this, let's do a startup. This is not a cold start. I already did a video with the cold start and I'll put that uh, on the end or maybe the beginning of this video. But yeah, this is the 2022 Charger GT. Uh, oh, the hood is up, it won't start, I forgot. You can't do the automatic start with the, the hood up so here we go and there we go it's your boy